So I posted earlier on Twitter talking about Adobe going over this bull flag this morning, and so far everything is actually moving exactly as I had expected. I will say that even though I threw this out as a potential trade, I currently do not have a position in it, simply because I currently have too many positions open and I'm not gonna go over leverage my portfolio just because there's a good opportunity. But I think that there's a lot to learn here and there's a really good opportunity for you to see why I see value in this. So we're starting here on a one hour time frame. You can see that we're still trading over the 11 SMA, which is your purple line, over the 50 SMA, which is your red line, and over the 200 SMA, which is your golden line. Basically, when we're trading over all of those moving averages, we are aggressively bullish, which is what we want. We want to only be trading in an aggressively bullish or an aggressively bearish nature. We don't really care to be trading within the sideways movement. So looking here, we had this big push up, this break of structure on the 13th, which was Monday, big run, followed by a consolidation. Now, if anyone's new to trading, the market does not just go straight up. It's usually going to move within a structure or within a flow. And you can see here, if we just go back and actually show you guys how things have been moving for the past couple of weeks, we tend to have a breakout through a piece of structure, followed by a run. Once again, a breakout through structure, followed by a run, and we're holding these trend lines. And the same thing over and over. Break of structure, continued rally on the trend lines. Break of structure, continued rally once again on the trend lines. And usually they're followed by consolidations. Now, something I will say is that as we move up each and every single time, the moves not are, aren't weaker quite yet, but the chances obviously of this being a loser are going to become higher and higher because more people are going to be taking more and more profits. But the smart thing to do is to still continue to follow the money and to follow the overall trend. There's no reason to be trading against it. So you can see here, as we had this consolidation, we came down towards our stop loss. And I said here uh, this morning that this would be a really good time to go long, setting our stop loss you know, right here long, setting our stop loss underneath the 50 SMA, a full close under it, and our take profit either up here at 612, which is where that most recent high was, but really up at a higher high up here at about 620. And you can see that just setting this up over the past 700 trades, 523 times, we rip right up into this level. So this would give us nearly a 5% return on shares for a 0.75% loss which is a whopping seven to one risk versus reward. And it's not a seven to one risk versus reward trending, you know, an opposite reversal looking for the top, which you're going to have a lower chance of profit. Like this is sitting here at probably 65, 75% chance of profit with a seven to one RVR. So in my opinion, it's a really good setup. And from here, we're now consolidating. We're holding the 11 SMA. And hopefully tomorrow we get that continued move. And if that doesn't happen, who cares? This was definitely a trade that was worth risking and potentially worth losing money with. I hope this helped, guys. If you want to trade alongside of me every single day, check out the link down below. And I'll see you next time.